good day everyone my name is Ruslan and welcome to my youtube channel so guys uh, <coughs> I hope you're doing good excuse me I hope everything is fine on your side and uh, guys I hope you're enjoying my videos right so check this out we are in our previous video and uh, you know there are always these emergency exits or these fire exits that we usually have on corners of our slabs right uh, I, I, of course you guys must have noticed so this is something that i'm making and now for this case we need a wall rail right because there's a wall on this side and of course this type of rail cannot uh, be attached here for example if you go to google and we look for a reference so these are wall rails wall mounted uh, rails right and they are again very widely used and they're a very common thing isn't it so we are going to be uh, making this inside drive it today right that's the topic for today and uh, these are wall rails these are the supports and uh, you know there are even terminations there's another uh, thing um, which is even attached here and th these right here are the starting and the uh, end corners right so we're going to be making all of them um, so remember the wall rail the termination uh, I mean the wall rail the supports and the start and the end uh, you could say the start and the ends right uh, so for example let's quickly go to um, our, um, our Revit and uh, you know the first thing is that we would have to uh, load in our supports right so they are found under uh, railings and the supports because they are I mean by default they are not loaded in fine so the supports are rolled in now let's quickly go to our normal uh, rail edit um, and uh, this is our preview fine duplicate so this is going to be the wall uh, r a i l uh, okay so the first thing is that we do not need that and we do not need that fine apply that is gone we do not need the top rail okay the top rail is gone um, okay so if there is no top rail the ballisters are automatically gone but we are going to fix that no problem we do not need the ballisters all of them okay so let's just uh, none and uh, none and uh, none so we've removed everything and now this is right here uh, i mean sorry this is the one all right hand this is where we are going to be loading it in so if we just press simply right here we have loaded in uh these are the extensions right uh they, they're called uh, the fixed extensions uh these things these the one that i previously uh, i mean the one that i talked about in the start so extensions um supports and hands rail okay now it's better um, so for the extensions of course we need a wall extension and uh, we need it to be 500 and this is the beginning right and uh, again for the end we need a wall extension 500 and uh, for the supports the one that we loaded in so supports uh, fixed distance of uh, 500 and uh, center fine everything is perfect right for the material uh, how about a C H R O M E uh, perfect look at this look at how beautiful this one is and uh, fine perfect how about we go to our preview and uh, can create railings okay that's fine how about we go to this and left and uh, okay let's press okay that's fine uh, and check this out guys so our railing is created although they were not showing us the the preview but our railing is created so you know in a way our video is already complete so check this out this is uh, you know look at our reference image the exact same thing we just made it within what within just a minute uh, and this is it and uh, it's a bit outside from the wall that's fine uh, for example if you go to the top so it's this distance right so how about uh, 50 apply and uh, how about we go to um, hit the lines and there's still a distance zero apply and check this out so it got uh, loaded in already and uh, you know we can do the exact same thing w uh, with this one rail right here so this is going to be the wall rail the one that we just created and uh, so look at look at how nice everything looks all right so these are wall rails of course uh, we cannot use the normal rail right here so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you learned something from it and uh, i'm sure of course you guys know how to um, fix these uh, uh, let's go to zero apply so we fix that and you know how to edit profiles right for example if this part is right here we go to edit profile we bring this uh, bring it to the top and uh, so you know you're gonna learn two different concepts today how about we go to the uh, and increase this a little bit um, okay so now everything fits right and uh, fine 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 and uh, okay so for example this one right here we can again go for a bit down and uh, um, okay how about this and uh, another line and uh, this line is gonna get attached to this and uh, trim and extend okay and trim and extend perfect 
So check this out. <laughs> Everything is perfect. Uh, I'm in love with Revit, guys. This program is so effective, but you, you'd have to master in the modeling first. So bye-bye. Take care of yourself, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you learned something from it, right? Check this out. This is the beautiful handrail.